there Mouseketeers, it's Kate from Princess Minnie here and I'm so excited that you're joining me for this Disney mystery pin unboxing today. I have some pins from Box Lunch and I have two different kinds. We have the, print. I'm going to call them princess bows, you guys know I call them that even though technically not entirely made of princesses here. And then we do have the Princess Dresses Volume 2. Now I have opened these before. I don't think, I'm probably going to jinx myself, but I don't think I've gotten any doubles of the bows, but there are still a couple more than I need. And I can't remember opening every, like I think I've only opened a couple of these a couple of these volume two dresses but there are some that I still have my eye on and I think I might have only opened it twice and I do know two I've gotten so we'll call that canon for, for, for the purposes of this video. I do have three of each so we have six pins total because these come with only one pin per box. Usually I think these run like $9.90 um, so almost $10 a box on Box Lunch's website but if you wait sometimes you can get these like buy two get one free or you could use like Box Lunch money on them. So just an option and then I know people have found these on eBay as well so if you can't find them on Box Lunch's website for whatever reason uh, you could always check eBay. All right, let's go ahead. I'll bring both of these to the camera at the same time because I think what we'll do is we'll just go back and forth opening them throughout the video. And I can't wait to hear what you guys think about the pins that we opened today. All right, so first we have the bows. I have opened several of these. I know I already have Ariel, I have Mulan, I have Tiana and Snow, I have Pocahontas, and I do have the Maleficent Chase and Cinderella. So I think then from the three today, I'd most like to get Jasmine, Rapunzel, and Aurora. That would leave me just to get Merida. And I might actually have Merida. Can't quite remember in the moment. But honestly, I know a friend of mine is also looking for Tiana. So that, of course, would go to her. There you go, Jess. If I get Tiana, she is yours. And otherwise, I think these would just make excellent traders. So I will be happy with whatever I open. I think that most of these are very cool. I know I've opened Tiana's blue dress and I know I've opened Rapunzel's wedding dress. I'm still on the hunt for these two up here, Ariel and Aurora. I'm still on the hunt for Belle's wet, uh, village dress. And then I also would like to get Mulan's dress as well. All right, let's get started. We'll start with a bow. And definitely if I could pick the number one I'm interested in right now from what's left, I really want did I say Belle? Because I don't think I have Belle. I think I have to add that to the list. I don't think I have Belle, so I would say Belle. <laughs> so last, last minute wishing there. What do we got? What do we got? The back of it's beautiful, but I can't tell what it is. Oh, it's Pocahontas. Okay. It's a little... I think the pin itself is really pretty. I think the colors are cool. I think they have some really cool Pocahontas details in this pin, but here's the problem when you get pins from Box Lunch. The quality control just isn't spectacular. This isn't horrible. There's just like stray glitter in some places, but it just kind of detracts from the overall look. And unfortunately, the other pin that I had damaged from this series was also Pocahontas. So I might need to get a third Pocahontas and see if they're just, they all have flaws. They're very, very small, so I don't know if you'll see them at the camera, but I will say that I do think this was a very, very cool design. And I'm so happy to see Pocahontas getting representation in a mystery set. Okay, princess dresses. There was a volume one. I loved volume one. I opened it a bunch of times. I don't think I ever completed the set, but I do think I came close. So maybe I'll have to trade for whatever um, I'm still needing once I kind of organize my pins. I'm hoping that the end of 2020 slash a lot of 2021 pin content on this channel is gonna be pin organization. I know a lot of you are interested in that. I know I like watching other people kind of go through their collections too. So it's something to look forward to. There's just a lot <laughs> to be done before I can even organize the pins. Okay, so mostly hoping for Belle, Mulan, Aurora, and Ariel. That's not asking for too much, right? That's like half the box I want. Okay, not getting too specific there. What do we got? Here we go, I'm gonna look at this one first. Okay, well, it's gorgeous, and 
and the quality control is beautiful and the size of these pins I think are just right but I have it so it's gonna make a really cool double it is Rapunzel's wedding dress the glitter is outstanding I don't know that Rapunzel's wedding dress is my favorite wedding look of any of the princesses but I do think it's nice it's nice <laughs> it's just not my favorite I still love Ariel's wedding dress. It, it kind of looks a little 80s with the big puff sleeves, but it still somehow manages to just be very classy and classic, which I think are slightly different words. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this is nice. <laughs> You know what I think it is for me with Rapunzel's wedding dress as I open the next bow pin? Uh, again, hoping for Belle most of all. But Rapunzel would be great to just go with her wedding dress too as we're talking about her. But I think it's the sleeve. Like it's a little puff, like a little tiny puff, like a little cap sleeve I think is what those are called. And uh, it's just not my favorite look in a wedding gown I suppose. Okay, second bow. Okay, Rapunzel, here you go. This is an outstanding look. I do love that Disney uh, combined purple and pink together for Rapunzel's look. It's such, I mean, they are such beautiful colors, but I don't think you see them a lot together. I mean, I'm wearing purple, but the balloons are also purple, so not purple and pink. And then of course you have the beautiful sun from the kingdom whose name I won't mention. <laughs> if you know it, you know it. <laughs> And I love this. I'm so happy I am one step closer to completing that bow set. Okay, second volume two dress. Most hoping for Belle. Most hoping for Belle. Although Aurora, Mulan, and Ariel, close seconds. And we talked about Ariel's wedding dress too, so maybe. Maybe this is like the wedding dress theme and I didn't even know it before we came in here today. We, we're just gonna talk wedding dresses the whole time. Okay. No! Okay, but I'm cool with it. It's Mulan. And now let's talk for a second. This pin's great. I love it. I'm so happy to have it. The silhouette's gorgeous and it looks just like the movie. It's spot on. Every single look that Mulan has is on point and I couldn't be happier. But let's talk for a second about Mulan 2. Or what I like to call the worst Maybe not even sequel I've ever seen. One of the worst movies I've ever seen, but it's awful. I'm sorry if you like it, but Mulan 2 is horrible. You can have your opinion, that's mine. <laughs> because it just takes Mulan as this strong, independent warrior, and the first thing that they're like arguing about and singing about is like their wedding. And it's like, what is happening? That's at least how I remember it. What is happening in this movie? Where's my strong, empowered female role model? She wasn't in that movie. Mm -mm. It was weird. It was not something Disney clearly put a lot of time, effort, or money into. I'll tell you that much. And because I was ranting about that movie, <laughs> which I shall no longer name, um, I didn't realize that there was all that great glitter on Mulan's pink sash. Beautiful. Okay, last bow pin. So still looking for Belle. I'm sorry I think that's a chase because it's to me it's it's the most rare one. I have not I have not found it and I have not really seen many people have it up for trade. So all, all you people hoarding your bell bow pins. Shame on you. Okay, we have Merida. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think this might have been like the first one I ever opened. So we have it. What I don't love about this pin is it looks a lot different from the other pins in the collection, where if you looked at the Pocahontas pin and the Rapunzel pin, the bows are really big and full and had short, shorter ribbons. This one is a smaller bow with long ribbons, which is fine. It's a fine look. I don't really care about the design of this pin one way or the other. It just doesn't really go with the others in my opinion, but the colors are pretty neat. And uh, I think I'm seeing that finally in the center, it must be three bears. I think it looks a little nondescript and it kind of looks like three rats. Or maybe it's three something else's and I just don't know. So if you know what's in the center of this Merida pin, you can tell me. <laughs> All right, last chance to get a bell pin in this video. Let's see what's gonna happen here. We could get Merida and then that would just, we'd have, we'd have gotten two of the same princesses in the boxes. Let's find out, okay. 
this one has a silver back. Oh, I know which one it is. I have gotten this one a few times, and I uh, now that I'm remembering past videos, it's Tiana's blue dress. It's beautiful. I, is it? Is she going to a masquerade party? Is that what it is? I haven't seen Princess and the Frog in so long. I really want to see it again. Um, I think it looks gorgeous on her. It's just, I had it, so I can't get too excited about it. But again, glittery sash. Living for the glitter on this pin. And the quality control on all of the dresses and the pins other than Pocahontas were really good. So good job, Box Lunch. six pins today. I have to say that for my favorites, it would go to the Rapunzel bow because it's gorgeous and it's one that I still needed, whereas the other two were doubles, so right away it gets a big leg up. But I also think it's just perfection. And you can see when I when we come up to the camera for a close-up um, how the Merida bow just kind of just looks different in design than the other two. And then I would have to say that the Mulan pin, which is also the only one that's not a double, has a leg up, but if I had opened all of these for the first time, it still would be the Mulan pin. Up here, it would be a very close tie between Rapunzel and Pocahontas, because I do think that Pocahontas pin is gorgeous. Don't forget to comment down below which pins were your favorite. Um, if you're trying to complete this set, I would love to know. I will tell you because sometimes people ask me about trading that before I get ready to trade, I organize all my pins because I usually do have a lot of people who want to trade with me because I usually have a plethora of pins, obviously from all these unboxings. So I kind of get inundated with messages and I like to keep it really organized. So I organize everything first. I'm not quite there yet. So I will let everybody know when I'm ready to trade so that we can have that potential connection and uh, stay tuned for a video like that but it probably won't be anytime soon because I also don't love the idea of going to the post office right now but I still want to hear what you think about these pins in the comments down below a like is always appreciated you guys have really been doing an outpouring of love with the likes recently and it really just helps um, YouTube creators so thank you so much it really means a lot to me and don't forget you can always just say hi in the comments if you don't have much to say about the pins that's completely fine send me a smiley and that's super cool too thank you so much for watching guys I'll see See you real soon.